Hello, today I have the Beswin VR silicon grip covers for the Oculus Quest 2 hand controllers to show you. And uh, you can see we have one fully assembled and one which we will put on my left controller here in a moment. But I do want to show you the assembly and um, you'll find that useful since there was a bit of a trick on getting this on there. So you do want to watch that. But uh, we'll take a look at this one first. You can see there is a hand strap here. Silicon hand strap, nice and stretchy and adjustable. It allows your uh, controller to sit in your hand nicely and nice and loosely, but also feel very secure in your hand. So you're very unlikely to be able to drop your controller just using this strap here. However, it does come with these lanyards as well for wrists um, as a wrist strap uh, with a little toggle there to tighten it up. Um, but personally, I don't use these. I think this is absolutely perfectly fine. I find this is great. So I'm happy to continue that active games, what I'm whatever I'm playing, I find this gives me enough security and uh, confidence to throw the controllers around in games and uh, still stay in my hands without any problems. Uh, certainly a big upgrade over using just, you know, just over the plastic and, you know, the slick plastic and, um, you know, lack of grip of this thing. Um, you know, these do make a difference and I certainly feel much more secure when it's nice, nicely covered with a bit of protection like with these. Uh, so yeah, very nice. Um, and you can see it does uh, have this grip area there, which is also good. And of course it is has, has these cutouts for the sensors. Uh, one thing um, I can tell you, which is absolutely fine because you may be concerned that this strap up here is covering the sensors or always sensor when you're using it. So when you put it in your hands, it will stay in that sort of position. And um, although it sort of covers that one there, I have no problems of tracking is absolutely fine. So do bear that in mind. You, you may be concerned that somehow it's going to, you know, you're going to get less, you know, le, le, um, you know, less tracking with this, uh, but it's fine. It's still 100%. I had no problems at all. So I have tested it so I can tell you it's absolutely fine. Um, so let's put this together, guys. And uh, but first, actually, what I do want to show you, you can see there's a cut out there um, and the, obviously the batteries there. I am using the Beswin VR magnetic charge kit which um, is a really nice little upgrade as well so this is separate from these grip covers of course um, I have I am working on a video if, if the video is not out already so I'll put a link in the description when that's available so do check the video description of this video and when this is uh, available I will uh, show you this in that video so charge kit just basically replacement covers and a special battery which is charged via USB and I'd certainly recommend um, you combine the charge kit with these silicone covers. Uh, for one reason, once you've got this all assembled, it's a bit of a fuss to kind of take it off to try and get to the um, battery compartment if you're just using normal batteries. So um, yeah, I would recommend this as you'll see when we get this together. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take the cover and also the strap and thread it into the bottom hole there. Just pull it through, just as far as that, that's absolutely fine. You don't need to go any further than that, so you're not stretching anything. And uh, let's take our controller, take the battery compartment cover off. And this now, we take the end of the strap here. And with this nodule, that bit there, pointing towards you, and the controller facing you, you pop it into that little slot there. And this makes sure that the strap is on the right way round. Okay, so now we can put the battery compartment back on. Um, at this point actually, what I'll do, I'll, I'll put this on because uh, so you can see it clearly. Um, I'm gonna put the cap on the thumb stick here. Okay, and all we need to do now is slide, orientate the cover, obviously, to the right position, and slide it down, just pull that down, slide it up over the rest of the controller, which is uh, nice and quick to do. And then finally, take the strap, Thread it through on the inside to the outside and then put it through the buckle 
and just set it to whatever is suitable for you. I don't think you need it to be particularly tight because it just holds on because it has like a rubbery grip and um, you want it to have still have some sort of agility when you're holding this. To be able to move your hands freely and there you go it's all absolutely fine and, and finally if you want to use the lanyard as i said um, it's nice to have but personally i think these are absolutely fine just using the strap there and so there you have it the Beswin VR silicone grip covers. Um, yeah, very nice. Um, I, I think they do a great job. They fit very well. Um, yeah, they, they fit nice and tightly. They give you a nice amount of extra softness to the grips and they just give you nice traction and protection, you know. Honestly, guys, yeah, good a good upgrade. Um, but yeah, as I said earlier in the video, best use of the charge kit because obviously to get to the compartment, we do need to remove this and then pull that down which obviously is not impossible to do, but it's just a little bit of a faff to do. So I'd, I'd certainly say with the charge kit, that's a, it's a good upgrade anyway. You know, why wouldn't you want to use um, rechargeable batteries? And this is a nice convenience that you don't have to remove any batteries and replace them. You can save some money using this charge kit. So yeah, watch that video if you want to uh, check that out. Uh, but yeah, but for now, there you go. The Bezwin VR silicon grip covers. Very, very nice. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.